on my expectations, I put God in a box. And in that box of mine, what I wanted to know from God, to hear from God, and to get from God was goodness. I wanted him to give me money. I wanted to become rich. Not because I want to serve his people. Not because I cared for his people. I wanted to make it because I was a selfish human being. And most of us, we are. So a lot of times with everything that we get to do, every step we take, every decision we make, all of us, we have a personal ambition that drives everything that we, we are motivated to do. Before I became a Christian, I used to hear people pray and they fast, yes? mtu shida. Ama mtu anataka breakthrough. So most of the time to fast, and to fast in it, to be a God, manze God deal na heart yangu. Manze cheki God, na jwa likona asira, deal na impact ya life yangu. Manze God, likona unforgiveness more, deal na impact ya life yangu. But most of you, if you are honest to yourself, the reasons why you fast, or you pray, it's because you want something from God. But then again, you're not willing to give something to God for Him to give the blessing to you. And I'm saying this, God is not transactional. God si kama ATM, unendo na ikapin, alafu pese inatoka. He does not work like that. One thing I've come to learn about God, eh? if you want God to intervene in your life, if you want God to walk with you, if you want God to step into your circumstances, you have to be willing to allow Him to do so. God is not a dictator. Most of us sometimes we think the idea of who God is and what God can do is based on um, his dictatorship. So tunasema, ah, uye God anasema tusikakwe wa shirati. Umse ni mtiaji. Umse atu understand. Umse understand his flesh. But then again, now we are forgetting that he's the creator of this flesh. He's the creator of our thoughts. He's the creator of everything that we are. So how can we say that God does not understand us and is the one who created us? It does not make any sense. We all have something we're struggling with. And sometimes, the only reason why you're struggling with something is because you don't have the necessary information to get out of that thing. And for me, that is the same thing that was happening. I honestly never saw a version of myself being sober, leading a sober life, leading a sober life, and actually even speaking for Christ and being a champion for the things of the kingdom. I never saw this version of myself because I was only limited to what I was doing then and with what I knew, I knew at that time. Most of us, we have an idea of who God is. But we do not know God in truth. Why? Because we don't spend intentional time with Him, reading His Word. And you see, I find it very interesting. Sometimes I find people, and it's young people, because we go to a lot of schools, we speak to a lot of young people, and all the time I hear people say, hey, me na umbaga manze, na penda kuwomba manze. And I'm like, awesome, awesome, we pray. Okay, do you read your Bible? And I found out that I Sunday, na fungwanga Bible nikiwa kanisa. So I'm like, why are you praying to someone that you do not know? Because you see, sometimes you might think praying will get you an answer, yet the answer you're looking for as you're praying is going to be the word of God. Because the word of God is who God is and it's what he says. So you cannot expect to pray and fast and not read the word and you expect God to intervene and to speak to you. How will he speak to you? Because most people don't get to hear God verbally. There are some people who've had an experience, they've been able to hear God. Like literally, I had a voice speaking to me, and that person knew it was God. But not all of us get to experience that. But some of you, the only way you get to know God, hear God, is through His Word. And if you cannot open that Bible and read the Word of God, then how do you expect to hear God answering you? How? God, I'm praying for, uh, to do well in my academics right now, you're in school. Like me, you're not putting in the effort. And you see, when you go to read the Bible, what the Bible does, the Bible reads you. That's the most interesting thing about the Bible. And that is why most of us, we are afraid of opening the Bible. Because the word of God is not going to be about the This is me. The word of God will never comfort you with a lie. It's going to hurt you with the truth, but the truth is the only thing that can set you free. And I hope you get to understand that. And do you know why some of us will run away from God? Do you know you can think you are for God, you are working with God, you are living for God, you are glorifying God, you are worshipping God, but the reality is you are very far away from God. You are running away from God. You are only giving God a bit of time. You are only giving God a bit of time. You are only giving God a bit of time. You cannot become a Sunday Christian pekeake if you want to win this war in this life. You have to become a Christian from Monday to Monday. 
you live by the one, you move by the one. All everything that is about you, the genesis of who you are, the core of who you are, has to come from the one. If some of us run away from God, when things get tough, we decide to run away from God. When our expectations are not met, we decide to run away from God. When we are secretly envious about other people, we decide to run away from God.